Good morning, world. It is January 22nd of 2013, and it is time for vlog number four. Now, as you saw in my previous vlog, which I actually liked, um, I was in the arcades. I was, uh, I was, uh, appreciating the retro life of the arcades. And then, after when we went home, I presented to you the Atari 2600 games. Well, it turns out that yesterday, Atari claimed bankrupt, and I was devastated. I was very, very, very disappointed. I was very sad. I cannot believe they went bankrupt. They're out of business. I, I, I really... I'm very, I'm very sad about Atari going out of business. It disappoints me for one. It makes me very, very sad to know that my favorite company is now gone. So that means the games and the consoles are worth twice now. Twice as much. <coughs> like the Atari 2600 is now worth $100. Uh, like the Atari games. Well, remember when I got them for $1.50? They probably doubled that amount now. Probably triple, quadruple. In 30 years, I'll probably be getting money from that. But I'm never going to sell all my classic consoles. I will never get rid of my classic consoles. Whether it be Sega, or Nintendo, or Atari even. I'm looking for any type of console that I wanted to live that was back in the day. You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm just ranting, but that's for another time. Uh, give me a moment. Sorry, my science physics are really acting up. But, uh, on that note of, uh, Atari being bankrupt, which is a very, very sad story. Um, it's not even trending. I don't think people know about this. I'm going to post that on Facebook right now. But while I'm posting it on Facebook, um, one, 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 Uh, sorry, uh, when I was growing up with Atari, well, I wasn't growing up with Atari, I was growing up actually with, <laughs> I was growing up with, uh, Nintendo actually before Atari, and I got fascinated with Atari when I got older. Sad news, everyone, Atari claim. Bankrupt. Crying face. I mean, literally, it just made me cry knowing that my favorite company is gone. Anyways, I posted also, share and like if you don't want Atari gone. I really don't want Atari gone. I really want them to live. Because, well, to be honest with you, Atari is my favorite company. Out of all the classic consoles from the 80s, at least. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm fascinated to see other consoles, too. Like the ColecoVision, or the IntelliVision, maybe. Or the Magnavox Odyssey 2, or the Odyssey 1, even. The first Odyssey, the Pong consoles, literally everything I want to have is based on classic consoles. And another thing that I really want to say about uh, 
the classic route. What I consider classic. I don't know if I saw. I don't, I don't know if I said this. Um, I don't know if I said this in my why I retro game video, but I'm gonna say this right now. What I consider classic is up to 2000. For now. So anything older than 13 years. At 13 years or older, I consider classic. So that's pretty much the Sega Dream, up, all the way up to the Sega Dreamcast. It's not even November. So the PS2 won't be classic until it reaches November. I mean classic in a retro way, not classic in an awesome classic way. Um, I consider classic to be like that, like right up to 2000, you know, up to 2000. So, um, all the way up to the Sega Dreamcast is what I consider classic. Um, I've done a history of video games. If you want to correct me on some, please do. Alright? Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is vlog number 4, CJLD113, signing out.